Welcome to our lab on DNS problems. So this is another DNS related uh, issue. Obviously for uh, Wireshark, if you're using Wireshark, one of the issues you'll be troubleshooting quite possibly is DNS. The most common DNS problem is an error generated because the name doesn't exist in the name server database. This can be caused by entering the name, uh, incorrect name, which we've all done. We've typed a web URL but for some reason uh, put a typo in or just made a mistake or entering a new name that is not yet propagated through the internet name servers so if you start a brand new company you'll uh, register the domain name but um, often when you attach it to a website it will take uh, allegedly up to 48 hours to propagate I found it actually happens a lot quicker within um, an hour or two but when you first do it the name won't have propagated you're going to open up Wireshark from the main menu um, options select an interface basically just open Wireshark as usual and uh, we're going to open up a web browser and search for the uh, website 101lobs.net uh, which is an incorrect name I don't even think that's registered as a URL so we'll go ahead and do this on our machine one oh one lobs dot net not a big fan of the um, Internet Explorer to be honest okay we can't reach it so let's go back to our Wireshark we'll do a stop here obviously we need to filter on DNS There's some Windows updates you can see here. I don't know, I'm going to scroll near to the bottom. Okay, standard query 101lobs.net. Go back to our lab. So, um, fill in the display filter with DNS. It's clear that when the client asks for the name 101lobs.net, the server responds indicating there is no such name. So we'll go back to our uh, capture. Standard query response, uh, no such name, a record 101lobs.net. Now I'm going to let you do the next part. Um, originally when we captured this, we have a uh, an engineer working in Italy. Uh, using a Linux machine so your settings will be different what we're going to do is um, change the DNS settings now if you're working on your home machine or in an office you probably won't, won't want to do this you can just read through the lab uh, or, or look at my video um, if you're on a virtual machine then you'll be fine to do it just bear in mind what you need to change back after you've made the change so on this particular one we've gone to our network settings gone to Wi-Fi and we're going to um, go to, I think that's advanced here, go to our DNS settings and we're going to add another DNS server. In this instance we added 192.168.0.200 which isn't a DNS server address, got rid of the uh, one that would work. Start a Wireshark capture again, go to the proper uh, URL. Bear in mind if you've locally got this cached it might not work so you might want to visit a website that you've never done before but you know exists you'll stop the uh, Wireshark capture and we're going to view the parts of the DNS packet of interest in here we've done DNS and frame contains 101 labs in speech marks you know um, that we can obviously dig into our options here in the filter bar only five DNS requests are present and no answers from the server as expected. It's possible to observe that the first two requests are sent with a time delay of one second. So uh, roughly one second, 28.9, 30, 32.0. So the first two uh, before sending the third request where it doubles the time to two seconds. So 30, 
32, 33 to 35. OK, and there's some notes here. Repeat the steps trying to find a request to exist in real DNS servers and non-existent.